have a super amazing achievement here. Uh, I'm sitting nearby Yulia Malgina and she's the winner of our Instagram giveaway. She won the $770 ticket just to pressing the buttons on the Instagram. And actually, she outplayed 94 players in that tournament and she won the first prize, making it shop for $15,000. It's an amazing achievement for our uh, girl and I, I'm here today to do the interview with her to see how she's feeling to be in, in merit and how the tournament was for her. So first of all, congratulations and uh, I want to ask you if it's the first time you are here in the Merit Poker, how you enjoyed that experience and will you come back or recommend for your friends that one? Вас спросить, если вы первый раз мерите, понравилось ли вам и порекомендуете ли вы мерить другим игрокам? Yes, of course. Merit, I cannot not like Merit, everything is amazing, amazing spa, amazing beaches. Amazing service. Atmosphere is amazing. The staff is great. Everyone is very positive and smiling. And of course, I would recommend Merit to everyone I know. know but the one very interesting thing to know for me is about that Instagram contest. How you came to that? How you found that? And what what was that feeling that evening when you pressed the button and you got the information that you will be in a poker tournament in like a couple of hours? What was like that and like what the feeling? Он хочет вас спросить, во-первых, как вы узнали про giveaway и как вы решились участвовать и думали ли вы, что вы выиграете и когда вам позвонили и вам сообщили, как вы себя почувствуете, почувствовали, что вы будете участвовать в таком огромном турнире? Ну, в общем, все это было очень, конечно, неожиданно для меня, потому что вообще то сходили на ужин, лежали там дома в кровати там, вот, и отдыхали, и мне звонок, ну, по телефону говорит, вы выиграли там фрирол, да, вот, в турнир в крупный еще за 770 вот, долларов. Ну, собралась, поехала быстренько, причем у меня было еще два часа на сборы, ну, то есть мне сказали, что я выиграла, и через два часа уже вот был турнир, и быстренько собралась, поехала, ну, и выиграла почти, ну, как, ну, вдвоем, ну, очень, конечно, неожиданно. So uh, she was at the hotel in her room and she was just having had dinner. She went to the beach with her friends. So just a casual day and all of a sudden she gets a call and they tell her that she won a ticket to this amazing tournament worth $770. So she was very excited and they also told her that she only had two hours to get ready. So she was in a little bit of a rush just to get there in time and she was very excited. What an amazing story out there. Moreover, I'm very interested. What was the path of that tournament? How it started? You know, it's what about any of the interesting hands out there? Maybe you know it was the situation, kind of the luck, and maybe you were some. What's 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 the your way to that final table to uh, play, uh, playing these 94 players? It's a huge amount of the experienced players, so it's it's interesting to me to know that. Вы сможете немножко рассказать о процессе игры, то есть как вы играли, какие у вас были тактики и как вы сумели сыграть против 94 как бы игроков? Это не легко, очень много игроков там было. И были ли у вас какие-то интересные раздачи, были ли у вас интересные карты и как вы к этому подошли? То есть была у вас какая-то тактика или идея в начале? И как вы думаете, почему вам так повезло и почему вы выиграли? Ну, скажем так, это был мой первый живой турнир. Играла я только онлайн и мало, вот. Тактики вообще никакой не было, на самом деле, играл вот только по карте. И, ну, мне хорошо раздавали, вот, правда, мне, ну, заходили карты, поэтому я, наверное, ну, и дошла так далеко, вот. Но, а вообще... <связывая> на самом деле, <связывая> ну просто повезло, да, правда, ну это правда. Была хорошая карта, я ставила, была плохая, я скидывала, все, больше никаких тактик у меня не было. <связывая>
Uh, she has only played online before, so it was her first live tournament. That's why it was very exciting and it was very different. And she said the basic, uh, it was luck was a big part of her game. She had great cards and she knew when to use them right. When she didn't have great cards, she knew that it was time to give up without bluffing. She, although she didn't have any tactics, she says that the luck she had and the confidence has really helped her to win this tournament. I'm really surprised about this one and I'm really happy about this. And the last question is, is it true that during all the tournament you haven't count your chips like? You never knew how much chips you have because of the bad luck or other things. Is it true? I heard that story and I want to confirmation of this one. Нам рассказали, что во время игры вы ни разу не считали ваши чипы, то есть вы не знали, сколько у вас чипов. И говорят это потому, что из-за плохой удачи или почему вы не считали, да? На самом деле я примерно, конечно, знала, но сколько у меня фишек вот, но я как только посчитаю, так сразу же проигрываю. Я решила не считать их, ну вот до конца игры. Вот, и это помогло, как видите. She roughly had an idea of how many chips she had, but she didn't know exactly because in the past, whenever she would count her chips, she would always lose. That's why she decided to keep it until the end and she decided not to count and not to have any exact idea of her chips. And as you can see, this has helped her out, as she mentioned, and she has become the winner of the tournament.